This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1835, The Most Important Decision in Life, by Nick Majuli of ofdollarsanddata.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to ORD yet again, with me, your host and narrator, Greg Audino. Today, I'll be reading to you from a really terrific author named Nick Majuli. Uh, Now, finance is his area of expertise, but what happens when you use financial analogies to help you understand the value of your relationships. Well, that's what he's got for us today in this really insightful article. So sit back and relax as we jump into this post now and optimize your life. The Most Important Decision in Life by Nick Majuli of ofdollarsanddata.com The best economics class I ever took in college was called Market Design. The class was all about the markets that do not involve an explicit exchange of money. Most markets we participate in are not like this. For example, if it starts to rain and you need an umbrella, you can walk into a store and get it for about 5 to $10. You want a new television? That'll set you back about $500. A diamond ring? About $15,000. You get my point. You give someone money and they give you goods and or services. Some of the most important markets we participate in are not like this. You can't exchange money to make these markets function. For example, if the most annoying person on earth wanted to be your roommate, you probably wouldn't accept any amount of money to live with them. They couldn't pay you enough for the future misery and hardship. The same goes for relationships. While having money can make someone seem more attractive, it doesn't usually overcome other factors, such as looks and personality. You can't just give someone $10,000 or $100,000 and make them fall in love with you. You might be able to get them into bed with you, but you cannot buy their legitimate desire and companionship. These kinds of markets are called matching markets, and they will have a bigger impact on your long-term happiness than any traditional market ever will. And the most notable matching market is the dating market. It's who we decide to spend our life with, and possibly who we have children with. It is the most important decision of our lives, and I can't even think of what's second. As I've written about before, the quality of your relationships will affect your lifetime happiness more than just about anything else. And your partner, i.e. the person you will spend the most time with, is a significant part of that equation. This doesn't mean that you can't be happy as a single person, but there is some research suggesting that married individuals are marginally happier than their single counterparts. As a result, I've been thinking a lot more about the dating market recently and how it impacts our lives. As a single 31-year-old male living in New York City, I have a feel for this market, and I'm convinced that most people don't spend enough time and resources on this area of their life. They don't treat it with the weight that it deserves. For example, I've heard complaints from my male and female friends alike that dating is time-consuming, expensive, and emotionally draining. Yes, it definitely can be. But consider the upside if you get it right, and ask yourself, how much does that really matter? I mean, let's reframe how we think about this. Imagine we turned dating from a matching market into a traditional market. How much would you be willing to pay for a lifetime of happiness, great companionship, and a wonderful family? I would argue that most people would be willing to pay a lot. For those that currently have this in their life, they would probably easily give up 10 to 20% of their net worth to keep it if not more. Technically, some people have to give up 50% of their net worth when they get this decision wrong. So 10 to 20% of your net worth is a bargain, if you ask me. So how can you complain that dating is expensive or time-consuming when it is literally one of the best trades you can make in your life? Oh, you had to spend $50 on drinks and nothing came of it? It happens. You set up dates that eventually fell through? Yeah, that's unfortunate. But these costs are small compared to the possible upside. There are very few areas in life where the asymmetry between the costs and benefits are so pronounced. This is why I think most single people who are looking for a partner should spend much more time and energy in this area of their life. From this framework, you can see why it doesn't seem as crazy to pay for a dating app or even a matchmaker. While originally I thought that it was silly, given the cost benefit ratio, I now understand why paying for these kinds of services can make sense. Of course, I'm not a dating expert. I'm probably average at it at best. 
but I do think a lot about risks, trade-offs, and investing. And some of the best investments in life don't have a ticker symbol. They can't be found in the Wall Street Journal. They aren't something that can be bought or sold. As I've gotten older, I've started to realize the importance of these kinds of decisions, and I regret not investing even more in them when I was younger. I regret not paying more attention to values earlier in a relationship. I regret not being as cognizant about what I want. I get that this is a learning process, but it's always so difficult looking back and realizing your mistakes now. How could I have been so foolish? How did I not realize what was staring me right in the face? It reminds me of the time I attended an admit party, six months before going to college. For the uninitiated, an admit party is when all the high schoolers who got into a particular university get to meet with the recent alums and ask them questions about their experience. During my admit party, I asked every alum I met the exact same question. What do you regret the most about your college experience? You know what they all said? I wish I'd met more people. Every single one. They all said the same thing completely independently of each other. It was like a sign from God to an 18-year-old me. Talk to lots of people in college. Meet as many as you can. But you know what my biggest regret from college is? Not meeting more people. I was quite social, but definitely not as social as I could have been. I should have played in the marching band. I should have been in more clubs. And though I didn't have the money at the time, I should have taken out a loan to join a frat. Sometimes we can know the right answer and still make the wrong choices. It reminds me of that time Stanley Druckenmiller lost $3 billion in six weeks betting on tech stocks during the dot-com bubble. He said, You asked me what I learned? I didn't learn anything. I already knew that I wasn't supposed to do that. End quote. So, please trust me on this and make sure that you get the most important decision of your life right. And if you already got it right, make sure to keep investing in it every single day. You won't regret it. You just listened to the post titled, The Most Important Decision in Life, by Nick Majuli of OfDollarsAndData.com. In theaters July 28th. Welcome to the Haunted Mansion. You ready to have your mind blown? We have 999 happy haunts, but there's room for more. We could be trapped here for eternity. There's no turning back now. Madam Yoda, we need your help. I can show you, but it will cost you three dollars. What? Time robbery. Who said that? Disney's Haunted Mansion, rated PG-13. May be inappropriate for children under 13. Only in theaters July 28th. Get tickets now. Now, it's no secret that we are all busy these days days, and sometimes we find ourselves with a bit too much on our plates. Well, luckily, one of our new sponsors is here to help you save time and in a healthy way. Introducing HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip trips to the grocery store and instead count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And HelloFresh Market makes summer entertaining a cinch. Make your home the hangout place this summer with crowd-pleasing favorites like a backyard bratwurst bar or maybe a tangy key lime pie. Their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less, plus HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout. And my favorite part would have to be that HelloFresh is actually an environmentally friendly choice too. They provide pre-portioned ingredients, which really helps to cut down on food waste. So, go to HelloFresh.com slash Optimal50 and use code OPTIMAL50 for 50% off, plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash OPTIMAL50 and use code OPTIMAL50, that's 5 for 50% off, plus free shipping. And thank you to Nick for this one. So Nick is a really wonderful writer, as you can probably tell. I highly recommend you check out his site and uh, also tune into Optimal Finance Daily to hear more from him. He's uh, featured quite regularly over there. You can only imagine how much insight he brings uh, to his area of expertise. So I just love this article so much, uh, especially coming from a finance guy. It, it really is a shame how easy it is to overlook the value of relationships, mostly because they are just so immeasurable, and it's more difficult to make sense of that, which we can't you know, assign hard and often numerical values to. He really illustrated this well today as he analogized, and to me, uh, you know, presented a really great way of quantifying relationships for those who might need the reminder. 
So look, whether or not you know it, I am going to end this episode telling you, reminding you that your relationships are the most important parts of your life. Again, your relationships are the most important parts of your life. Do them justice. You're already doing an amazing job by being tuned into the show. I'm telling you, really absorb these episodes. Take them with you and use the knowledge. It is worth the time and investment. We're going to get going though, folks. I really hope you do leave here believing what you've heard in this article and in my commentary. We're doing amazing things here together, and I'm really happy to have you all aboard. So take care, enjoy your Tuesday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.